public. I was just concluded the hearing of uh, this uh, nebulous charges uh, brought against myself and two other patriotic Nigerian citizens uh, before the magistrate. We just uh, had a number of consequential orders issued by the magistrate, varying the bail conditions against the defendants, uh, including the one that had, imposed, that had been imposed on me to visit the chief registrar of the FCT. That will now be once a month, uh, twice a month, first day and the last day of the uh, uh, yes, the students in our midst are not allowed to go back to school and write to the exam. But what we must say about this uh, clearly is that this is one of the weird things happening in Nigeria. The Nigerian citizen will be restricted to a city for engaging in peaceful and constitutionally recognized protests. In fact, the only police uh, witness I was brought today admitted that we committed no crime by engaging in protests. Because it's constitutionally guaranteed by their 1999 constitution. That is their constitution. We have always said I don't believe in our constitution. It was not made through the necessary processes of making a constitution. But let's assume, without conceding, that is the constitution of Nigeria. The constitution is very clear. But my lawyer made a brilliant argument that there's even a section of the constitution that allows for Nigerians to call for the designation of it's not performing leaders, whether you are president, council, or permanent secretary. Right? I also think chapter 2 of this 1999 constitution is also very clear that if the rights of Nigerian citizens are guaranteed by that by the section of the constitution are not met in a timely and fashionable manner, people can organize. Yes, people can organize to enforce those rights. We also asked the witness to the prosecution about the 1983 coup that was organized by General Buhari, who is currently the president of Nigeria. He was aware of it, and we asked him if he knew if anybody was prosecuted in that coup. Of course, the man went blank. Also, he was asked if he knew if anybody uh, if Buhari partook in protest, peaceful protest, after he lost elections, I think, two different times. He said he was not aware, and this is supposed to be a police officer. He was also asked if Buhari called for a, a, an Egyptian type of revolution in 2011 or thereabouts. He said he was not aware. Apparently, he came here unprepared because they don't know what they are doing, and these charges, of course, are bogus. So, that is the report we have for the Nigerian people. We are meeting back in court on May 7th, 2021, and we invite you to be back with us. As I've always said, this is not my own personal trial. It's a trial of the failed ruling class in this country. And that's why we are happy to be witnesses of history in these courtrooms across the country. As they continue to show themselves up as people who don't believe in democracy, and fundamental human rights of citizens that they have sworn to protect. But beyond that, as I've always said, let's keep organizing instead of agonizing. Revolution now! now. You, 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 came, you, came, you came with a priest, a traditional priest, right? I want to ask you a question. If you look outside of here, can you see something that is red and white out there? Can you see it? Passport port to place. Would you call it a shrine? They are not aware. They are not aware. <laughs> it's not. Yes. Every Nigerian can be represented in a court gallery. Whether they are you know traditional priests as you like to call them. And why would you call your own religion traditional? Hmm. Why you call imported religions sophisticated or civilized? This is how we Africans undermine our own cultural beliefs and practices. So you see an African, well-dressed, in court, expressing his religious rights and beliefs. You call him a herbalist. Is he wearing herbs on his head? <laughs> Would you call somebody who's wearing a castle a herbalist? Would you call somebody who is carrying a rosary and wearing a toupee on his head a herbalist? So. Three